the folks over at IC Station have sent me another module to uh, check out and show you guys how it works. This one's an MP3 player with a built-in FM radio and uh, it actually works not too bad. So I have another module to test here, again from IC Station. This one here is a uh, it's an FM radio with a USB uh, player that you can play from a USB memory stick or an SD card. So um, let's just take a look at the, the headers here. It's got auxiliary input, so we've got a left and right auxiliary input with ground. We've got our left and right output and our power supply input. So here's our power supply input wires. Here's our left, right, and ground output. So we can take this and feed this off to our amplifier and our supply voltage into VCC and ground. Comes with a little remote control. So let's uh, let's hook this thing up and uh, see what it does. So I'm just gonna tack this down to my little Class D amplifier. We'll use this as our test amp. So I'm just gonna actually just solder it right down to the input terminals for the line input. And the ground is this one here. And now I just need to find a power source for this. Okay, we have our power wires here. We have our ground wire. This is this one here. We can get it. Yeah, the ground wire is the second one over, so I'm going to connect this to the ground. I've got a 12 volt power supply ready to go here, so our ground wire is connected to that. And our 12 volt supply is connected to this one. And as soon as I connect power, the lights come on. And oh, I'm gonna hook up an antenna because of course this has got an FM radio on it as well. So let's just hook up the antenna wire, which is right here. It's got a little picture of an antenna on it. So we'll just use the same type of wire I used on the last one. Good enough. There's our antenna wire. And we'll see if it's going to tune anything in. I'm just going to turn my amplifier on. So we'll turn that on. And we can hear that it's it's tuning the my little test transmitter. I also have a micro SD card so we can test out the MP3 capability. So right now I've got this as an FM radio, which is kind of cool. And these are dirt cheap. We press the function button. We can turn it to a line input because it does have, it does have line input as well, which is this other connection here. So you can feed other sources into it. And then it'll switch between radio but just because As you can see it was scanning when you're scanning the blue light blinking. Stored that into program uh, one. Right, so you can you can store memories on this unit. Also comes with a little remote control. With the remote control, I can control the volume because this has a line output on it. So you can control the volume. So if your amplifier doesn't have a volume control, you can control it from the remote control here. Now, at the time, it seemed you talk. I mean, that kind of If I plug in the SD card, 
And we can also plug a USB stick in here, but I'm going to use an SD card. Now, I can't play much of this music because this is not royalty free that's on this one. But if I plug in a memory card, it'll start to play the music that's on the memory card. And I can skip forward. That switches between the modes. Um, if I click here, you can do it either from the front panel, so we have skip forward and skip backwards. And if you press and hold the button, it becomes a uh, volume down. Press and hold volume up. Track. Pause and play. Which you can do from here as well, from the remote control. You can adjust your bass and treble, it looks like. Oh, you can adjust different, uh, different. Different settings for rock, pop, normal, classical, bass boost. So that uh, lets you uh, change. Now repeat, what does repeat do on here? One, all, or one or all, so. I don't know if it's got uh, random on this or not. It would be nice if it had random playback. That's what I was looking for, but I don't seem to see. I see all and one for the repeat mode and mode button up here. Now that just changes between the three inputs. Clock, you can put the time on here. Okay, to set the clock, that's how you do it. You push the clock button down to set clock and then you push it, okay, you press and hold and now you can, I would imagine, here you can change it with the forward and backwards buttons here. So if I want to set it to 9 at almost 12 or 24 hour time, it looks like it's 24 hour time, so I would set it to uh, uh, 21 and then hit the clock button again and now I can set the minute. And then clock. Now the time is set. So that's how you set the clock on this. I uh, haven't figured out how to make the thing play random. It would be nice if it will play random tracks. Of course, when you turn it off, it shuts down completely. If you know the track number, if you say you want to go to track 250, I'm sure there's 250 tracks on here. It will take me to track 250. How about track 500? Is there 500 tracks on here? There could be. Nope. 400. I don't know how many tracks I put on this thing. Well, there's 400 plus tracks. But unfortunately, it doesn't do random. That's a bummer. Hmm. Oh well, for the three bucks I think it costs, or three fifty or whatever this thing costs, it's gonna do the job, and it's got the got the radio in there to boot. Pretty simple little unit to build this thing into a, a cabinet. I'm sure. Let's put the uh, I just want to put the USB stick in there as well and see what does on what it does on that. Now this should have. This should actually have a test tone on it. So if I plug this one in, USB, there we go. We have a test tone on this. Anyway, um, that's basic. It's a basic FM radio with uh, an MP3 player that will read 
either the USB stick or you can put your files on a little SD card and build this into whatever little cabinet you like. Anyway, I figured I would just show you guys this basic little unit and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll be sure to spam me with another 10 videos or so for the for the one guy out there that, that uh, doesn't like me sending more than one video a day. I say tough darts. You know what? If you don't like it, unsubscribe. Uh, I don't care. You know, to have some to have a viewer uh, basically telling me that uh, I can't post more than one video a day. Who the fuck does he think he is? Pardon my French. We'll catch you later.